a reptilian despite some people's um, comments and I really don't know where some people get their information who they get it from and then whoever they get it from I, I really don't know who they get it from you all I think um, people just want to think of certain people as reptilians <laughs> reptilians if i was a reptilian i'd want to be a really pretty colorful reptilian um, this one's pretty colorful uh, i certainly would not want to um, certainly would not want to look like maybe um, any scary looking like reptilians like this right here no my gosh that is a scary reptilian i wouldn't want to look like that um, but for the record, um, no, I am not a reptilian. I think your source, you got a bad source that you're going to, and then they in turn, they've got a bad source that they're getting their information from. Yeah, so um, hello everyone, and uh, thank you for coming here. Now see, um, I know that reptilians exist they do and I don't think that they're full of love I really do not love it I don't think love would be at the core of their being okay I don't especially this one right here I don't think love is at the core of this reptilians being and or this one although this right there looks like a statue and I don't know how that came into being I really do not um, and I hope you can hear me because I do have the um, I have the um, what do I have on I have the microphone on hello there Susan B honey you're a bit reptile you bite at times yeah um, you bite at times that's okay you all this is this is the silliest thing you all let me let you sh um, let's let you um, see your screen with you all on there hello everyone you're running from the dinosaurs, Melissa. Uh, I think that's great. You keep on running from them. Don't let them catch you. Okay, don't. <laughs> don't let those dinosaurs catch you. You all do not let them catch you. Um, yeah, because there's people out there. Um, they call in everybody. Hello, their marijuana community. Yes, um, that statement, I think it's a pretty clear true statement many politicians are reptilian shapeshifters um, yeah I think that's a pretty true statement and um, oh my gosh so what is this the internet is creating oh my gosh I hope that's not true I really do hope that's not true creating reptilian demons I don't know what that is a reptilian monster um, yeah you are so for the record no I'm, I'm not a reptilian although <laughs> these people they live in a fantasy land where they must live in another multiverse another another multi world or something another dimension and um, they um, they see me as a reptilian over there or something. They might be playing virtual reality and maybe they turn me into a reptilian in their virtual reality is what I'm thinking. All of that, you all. That's right. Um, yeah, we, we talked about the reptilian brain before on here. We really did. How it's at the very stem back there. Uh, and it, it does have a survival instinct to it. It does yeah um oh that's great melissa honey you can hear uh, susan honey yeah you all can hear so you all yeah let's listen i won't be on here too long look at these um and really um i saw something else somewhere in these um things right here they had related they had compared the anunnaki to the reptilians See, every, nobody can escape them. They can't. Not to say that they did not exist. The uh, Ubaid period, prehistoric Sumeria, 
you can see that there is a um, reptilian a reptilian like queen let's read this you all we can see it um, ancient reptilian humanoids hold the secrets of mankind's origin and i think they do hello there cassidy yeah so a reptilian appearance of the gods in the old testament was a well-kept secret but the sumerians were more open in their epics which can be traced back as far as 3000 bc 3000 bc oh yeah let's put this in here you all we can put everything that i look at in here so that we can document it is uh what they can do um, save it yeah so we're going to save it right here let's look at this ancient pages premium content they have been called the nagas the snakes in india which um the quetzalcoatls uh the plumed serpents in mexico and the the jedi okay certainly they do not that certainly is not pronounced as the jedis is it you know like the jedis from star trek certainly that cannot be um hello there in cleveland um certainly that doesn't it's not pronounced like jedi um because that'd be really strange having that word there and then you have the jedis um yeah well see that leaves me out because i'm old positive okay if anybody ever yeah so i'm old positive so i'm not a reptile a reptile i'm not a reptilian uh i'm not that might be a little too much uh information but yeah i, I am what i just said i am an old positive that's what the um thing said unless um I'm something else and they just wrote it down as that yeah you are hello um, so um, let's look at this the snakes uh, in Egypt the adders are the snakes and in Britain the long dragons in China the Toltec Mayan God um, let me I should probably get myself out of here because I'm um, I'm gonna get myself uh, I'm just gonna do just a screen right there so the uh, Toltec Mayan god Gungumats was described as a serpent of wisdom, a feathered snake god, one of all three groups of gods who created earth and humankind and gave them knowledge. I never heard of that before, a serpent of wisdom. Ancient rep Jubes, Gina, honey, ancient references references to serpent gods flying serpents and dragons are quite common collectively they have been called the serpents of wisdom have you all heard about that the serpents of wisdom yeah so um these enigmatic figurines dated to the so-called ubaid period in ur okay i've heard of the land of ur 6000 to 4000 bc and were unearthed by sir charles leonard woolley uh, in April of 1880, a British archaeologist best known for his excavations in 1920s and 1930s Mesopotamia. How many of you all wanted to be an archaeologist when you were younger, uh, when you were in high school? Did you want to be an archaeologist when you grew up? That's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be an archaeologist. Uh, but I, I didn't turn out to be an archaeologist. I, I wanted to do art, but uh, I did i wanted to be an archaeologist but that was a you have to go to school a long time for that you do i um a thank you loud pack i had a a um productive day i did i stayed busy but i didn't do hardly any manual labor i just did soft labor things around the house you know just everyday things not so everyday but yeah i took it easy i had a good day thank you for asking i hope you had a good day too yeah yeah so uh women are perfect archaeologists because they experts at digging up oh now see makua that is not 
a very nice thing to say. That's very kind of derogatory. Um, yeah, and um, that's not nice. Uh, in fact, it's uh, really not nice at all. It's not. Um, oh, Susan, honey, you already took care of that, you good Susan, honey. Yes, you did. That's right, Susan, honey. No, we don't need no derogatory uh, a derogatory speaking down on down to me people we don't you still don't want to grow up well that's okay you don't have to grow up you're um, really a lot of us on the inside we still feel very young at heart on the inside we really do even though our bodies are aging which we don't like but that's okay you all it is all right Susan honey thank you the figurines depict snake or reptilian headed humanoids that were found in several Ubaid cemeteries in the vicinity of Ur in southern Iraq. You all, let's just face it, Iraq has seen a lot, a lot of action throughout the decades. Okay, probably the centuries Iraq. Yeah, they have a lot, a lot of history. So, um, I think it's a very um, important area. That's right. So, Melissa, Cody, let's see. Hello, Jazzy Jasmine. You've heard through various uh, sources, the videos. Uh, um, tomorrow starts the 10 days of disclosure. Well, um, we will watch out. Thank you for giving us a heads up. We will see if uh, that is the disclosure that is to be coming. We're going to see about that. Thank you. So, let's look at this, you all. Um, and if it doesn't come to pass, then I don't know. But yeah, so I uh, know I don't want to enter your ancient pages. You all see these ancient. Uh, I can, I can, I can turn an, or an, author, an orthodox ruler who had only one god. The legend of the sleeping hero Holger Donsky. Um, you all look at this. I love archaeology. Mysterious miniature coffins in Scotland's. An enigma, mysterious pyramid-shaped tombs in China. Well, who were the people who lived in the pyramid? You all, because this is look all of this stuff right here, inscribed fragments of stone slabs unearthed in Materia, Materia, ancient Heliopolis. That's um, hell yes, yeah, Susan B. Honey. Oh, that's so nice of you to address her like that, Sky Metal. Yes, it is. It really is, you all. So I was sitting there looking at that, but no, I'm not a reptilian. Okay, I don't look like a reptilian. Uh, and if I if I truly was a reptilian, I think you probably um better start running okay because i wouldn't i wouldn't be alone i, I wouldn't be and i'd be very um, vicious and vindictive and all of that kind of stuff and you certainly would not see any love coming out of me even if i tried to fake it you would not see any love and compassion or any of that coming out of me i, I would be void of the spirit that gave me all of that so yeah you will so yeah some people are so silly they really are that's right yeah well if there is a a good reptilian i guess i would be a good one because i would want to be a very colorful one like this um yes i would <laughs> instead a um a, a very um scary looking one you all that he he does look scary oh my gosh he looks scary you all he really does yeah this is what i saw something like this um Something like this. Time for disclosure. We have never been alone. Um, let's see this. Uh, do alien exist, exist? The Anunnaki, the reptilian alien theory. Both theories claim human race uh, did not evolve through Darwinian processes, but have had extraterrestrial origins. And both types of theories claim our real history was like the movie TV series Stargate. Ah. Oh. Country boy, I don't even know. I don't even know any reptilians, okay? And all that I know about reptilians is what I have read. Now, whether that be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, that's another story. Um, so I don't have an answer for you. I have no, <laughs> I don't have a definitive answer for you whatsoever. I don't. 
I hope I never do come in contact with a real reptilian. Okay, because if it's, um, yeah, nah, I really have never seen one. Uh, I only know what I've read about and heard people say. So let's look at this, you all. So um, our real history, according to this individual, let's look at this times theory. We can put this here because I'm, I'm referencing this, you all. Are we going to put it in here? Yes, we are. Just like that. Um, save. Um, our real history is um, more like the movie TV series Stargate with extraterrestrials guiding the development of our society, sharing their technology with us, and playing the role of gods. Um, so please remember we all have different opinions. Think before you speak or write something cruel to others. After all, we are only humans and we're wishing you clear skies and wide eyes to share your experiences or just leave a comment. There is an area below. Oh, well, see, I'm not going to watch that. I'm not uh, because I don't know what this uh, person has said you all. But yeah, I only come on here because I read a comment. I was going to like uh, screenshot the comment and... Um, I thought, no, it's not even worth it. I'm just going to make a thing saying, no, I'm not a reptilian. Okay, I'm not. And if I was, I'd want to be a very colorful one, a very pretty one. Uh, not some, some scary looking one. I wouldn't. That's right. Yeah. Um, yes, Vanessa, that's right. I am. Scary looking and you know, they have they, they make reptilians look scary. They do oh, I Don't want to look at them no more you all I don't I'd rather look at lizards. Yeah V was Great should look it up V. I don't know what V was Yeah That's right you all That's exactly right. Hello there in Brisbane uh, Australia so, um, we can look at this. Now, I've shown this before. This is Alien News. How this reptilian statue is erected. See, look at the teeth right there. This, this reptilian, if this size of a reptilian existed, it could tear you to pieces with its teeth. Its teeth looks like it was, ra it's like sharp as razor blades. Uh, it, it does and look at the leg muscles look at the feet they actually have um, the reptilian statue erected in the capital of friendship why do they call it friendship um, the Peruvian city of Chicalillo Leo also known as the capital of friendship has a really um, weird monument dedicated to the ancient god Morop I never heard of him called Morop the reptilian before I haven't um, in Peru's fourth largest city a statue stands tall the work of art is meant to show the deity more rock have you all heard okay sky metal friend and then a ship well that's uh, interesting with it separated like this I I don't know who more rock is built taking into account the ancient descriptions of the reptilian God I've never have have you all heard of Morop right here this it won't let me highlight it why won't it let me highlight it did they do something to my cursor no only right there I'm gonna type it in Morop because I've never heard of that before not that I go looking well um I guess it's here right here okay there okay well, look at all these statues See, we've saw these before. This is Morop right there. This uh, reptilian god. Um, oh my goodness, look at that. See, they got human bodies, but they got reptile heads. That's what they got. Human bodies with reptilian heads. Carnar carnivorous beings is what they are. Uh, you're so welcome. Um... And really, if you think about it, did they make up 
how what did they use for referencing any of this the peruvian city what did they use to reference these statues really what did they use it's half man and half I don't know crabs or something I don't know what it is fallen angels um, now this looks like a normal human um, say say sir dot right here with normal feet and this is like um, a piece of art I'm really thrown aback at this right here, the name Morrot, because when I looked at this the last time, I never seen that name before. And I'm wondering if it's the Mandela effect. I really am, because I've never seen that name before. Meow, meow, kitty. Um, does Chewbacca have a red rocket? I have no idea about this right here. That's... um. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So let's look at this, you all. Please don't act silly on here. That's not very nice at all. It isn't because um, it's uh, kind of, yeah. It's kind of, yeah, that's what it is, you all. So if you all go into Peru, I, I wonder if you would see this right here. I really wonder if you would just like this wow now these are reptilian he's got an ink holding an a, a n k h in his hand right here look at those toenails and look at that tail you ever notice in the back of humans and this is true um, some humans have an, an indention back there on their on their bottom it's like a like a divot and why is there a divot? That I just want to know why is there a divot back there? It's just a um, just a serious question. It really is. Why was there, and why is there a divot back there? So the lost book of inky memoirs of an extraterrestrial Anunnaki alien god. Was he an alien? Yeah. Was he? Um, yeah. I, I hadn't, well, I don't know if he would be or not. You, I don't. Yeah, so you can find all kinds of pictures of reptilians. And um, I think there's a lot of... Um, beings on this earth that would probably fit the bill as a shape-shifting reptilian uh, up to no good okay a shape-shifting reptilian up to no good but it's not me okay it's uh, not me I'm not that reptilian that some are rumoring that I am okay I'm not um, if I was going to be any type of extraterrestrial or interdimensional or spiritual being, I think I'd rather want to be a mighty angel warrior. Okay, that's what I'd like to be uh, pictured as a mighty angel warrior. Um, yeah, so yeah, if I can pick it, I'm going to pick it a instead of a reptile right there. Okay, <laughs> I'm I'm a light being in this body, and I don't think reptilians are light beings, okay? They're not. Um, just like a lot of you, you're, you're a light being in this body. You are, and um, who knows, you know, really, if someone were to look at you through spiritual eyes, they may see with their spiritual eyes a mighty um, angelic warrior, okay? Really, they may. I'm not just saying that either spirit to spirit that's what they may see and that's a good thing it's a lot better than seeing a reptilian <laughs> it is so uh, i am going to go you all i just wanted to get on here since i get on here around nine o'clock or so every night and um 
thank you for your comments. Thank you, Susan. Um, and with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, you all. Thank you.